Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you what is in my stockpile. I did one of these videos, I think back in February, but I think I'm gonna do them about every six months so you can see how my stockpile changes. But before I get into my stockpile, I did wanna tell you that today's video is a collab with three other awesome people here on YouTube, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them. First up is Nick from Ohio Valley Couponer. Nick has become one of my really good friends here on YouTube and he is an awesome person. He does amazing Ibotta couponing hauls as well as weekly Kroger videos that will help you save a ton of money. Next is David and Alexis from Financial Phoenix. They post videos about frugal living and reselling. They have some awesome videos up on their channel so definitely go check those out after you watch their stockpile tour. And last but not least is Christina from Mama Big Coupons. She is a working mom who posts Ibotta couponing hauls on her channel. So if you enjoy those, make sure you go check her out. Everyone's stockpile tour will be linked down below so you can go watch those as well. Okay, so in my last stockpile tour, I started on the other side of the room. So today we're going to start over here. So up on this top shelf, I have some light bulbs, some Lemmy Shine disposal cleaner, down here, I have dishwashing detergent. I wish I had more of that. I just don't see deals on it too often. We have one box of the Swiffer dry cloths. After that box is finished, I am going to purchase a reusable thing for my Swiffer off of Etsy because it's going to save me money in the long run and less waste. So yeah, we're going to do that. Down here is where I would keep trash bags if I had any. Over here, we have some stain master some drano two cans of scrubbing bubbles i love scrubbing bubbles like i use that stuff everywhere and cat litter deodorizer so don't have a cat though we have some lysol toilet bowl cleaner some pledge some soft scrub up here we have those snuggle oils that we were getting for free so i think there's like yeah two of each pack up here we have some viva pop-ups one lonely pack of Cottonelle flushable wipes and some Kleenex wet wipes, which I love having for Aria. So right next to these shelves, I have my pegboard. So up on top, we have some Cetaphil wipes, um, one of those little bath sponge things, some hand sanitizer, lip balm, lots of floss, bath salts, toothbrushes, tons of razors, some floss picks, and then down here we have like oils and warmers, coffee maker cleaner, car vent clip things, a soft scrub thing for your toilet. We have batteries, lighters and pins. So yeah, that's what's on my pegboard. And then I still have these Armor All car care gift packs sitting on the floor next to my pegboard. I still have my candles in this little basket down here. So those are like some Bath & Body Works candles, dollar store candles, and a few candles that I made. And then if you watched my first stockpile tour, this thing was like full of pods. Well, since then, I have emptied them out into this big container that I keep in my laundry room. And I just like that a lot better. It saves me from having to come up here all the time. So yeah, just have like maybe four packs of Tide and Gain. I have a few packs of all down there for Aria's clothes and then some powder Gain up on top. So I've been couponing since October 2018 and Thanksgiving of 2018, around that time, I had stocked up on a ton of paper towels. So if you saw my first stockpile tour, you saw I had a lot of paper towels here. I have not bought paper towels since then and this is what I still have left. I am out of toilet paper. We just opened up our last pack of toilet paper, so I'm going to have to go out and find some deals on that, but I feel like these paper towels are still going to last us a pretty good while. And then coming over here, this is just stuff that we don't use, so it's either going to be donated or given to family. There's like makeup and some baby things, toothpaste, like shampoo and conditioner, stuff like that. Okay guys, so the ceiling is low in this part of my house. It's like a loft area. So it's really hard for me to stand back and get like a good full view of this. So I'm just gonna do my best. And I know the lighting up here is kind of crappy too, but working with what I got. So up on this shelf, we have some air fresheners. We have these Renews It cones. In this basket, we have those Carbana Stain Devil things. These things actually work pretty good. We have a few bottles of Purex crystals and then some downy wrinkle releaser. 
So on this shelf, we have our fabric softeners. So we have some Gain and then like All and Downy for Aria. And then we also have some Snuggle dryer sheets over here. But I was going to tell y'all, these shelves that I have are from Walmart. And I do not recommend these for a stockpile. They cave in in the middle, as you can see, and then everything just starts to fall. So, I mean, it's okay for like lighter things. But if you're trying to stack like laundry detergent and fabric softeners, it's just all going to start to fall over. Even shampoo. Well, shampoo does get pretty heavy, but even like my shampoo shelf is just all out of whack because these shelves are terrible. So down here we have our liquid detergents. So we have some Persil, Arm & Hammer, Purex, Tide, Gain, and then of course I have the all for Aria. Down there on the bottom shelf we have six bottles of bleach and then just one big jug of laundry detergent left. So moving on to the next shelf, up on the top we have a bunch of tissues, and then we have pads and liners and tampons. I also have these Neutrogena lip masks up here because I just didn't have anywhere else to put them. On the next shelf we have some shaving cream, lotions, that Mederma scar stuff that they sent me for free. The Neutrogena face bars, we have some bar soap, face cream, face wash. This is my body washes right here, and then this is all of Cody's body wash. Down here on this shelf, this is our shampoo shelf. I do have some of the Summer's Eve wipes on this shelf just because I couldn't fit them up on the top shelf. So we have that. We have some Dove Men for Cody, and then we have some hair masks back there. In that blue container, that's just like some L'Oreal stuff, and then I think a Tresemme travel size conditioner. We have my shampoos and conditioners. L'Oreal is my favorite. I will use Tresemme if I don't have the L'Oreal. We do have some Garnier back there. I've tried other Garnier Whole Blends products and I didn't really like them, but I haven't tried those particular ones. So I'm gonna give those a shot and see if I like them. So this is my favorite shelf down here on the bottom. So we have the Febreze odor eliminators and then we have all my dish soap. I know it's a lot but it definitely gets used and I love having a good stockpile of this. So up here on this shelf, we have this empty bowl. I used to keep makeup in here, but I mean, I'm not gonna use the makeup, so why keep it in my stockpile? So that's why I moved it over to that box that I showed you guys. I like to keep this drawer thing up here because no, my daughter's not like walking up here yet, but eventually she will and I don't want her getting into this medicine. So that's just why I keep it up here in this drawer. On this top shelf so I'm gonna pull this down and show you what is in here okay so I had to rearrange this just so I could get the drawers open so I think that's a sign that this is enough medicine and I need to stop getting it so I really don't like to keep a lot on hand anyways because it does have expiration dates but like stuff for headaches I'm always gonna get that because we always use that so we have some Advil Excedrin Motrin we have this children's Zyrtec, and Aria's not old enough to take this, and she doesn't really have allergies yet anyways, but adults can take this too. That's why I keep it, just in case we have allergy problems. In the back, we have some medicine for Aria. I think there's some eye drops back there, and then these mentholatum things. In this drawer, we have, like, cold and flu, and then we also have some Thermacare in the back. And then I think I got this as like a sample thing. So that's in here. And then there's some other little sample things in the back as well. Bottom drawer is just vitamins. Okay, so on this shelf, we have our deodorants. And I like to keep them in these bins just to keep them organized. Because if they're not in these, they just get knocked over and it's just messy. And this just works for us. So in this one, I have my deodorants. And I do keep them organized by expiration date. Because yes, deodorant does have an expiration date. So I want to make sure that... I use up the oldest stuff before I get to the new stuff. And then same with Cody's, his is organized by expiration date as well. So this is like my baby slash kids shelf. So in the back we have the Johnson's Tiny Traveler things. Those make really good gifts. In this little blue container, we have coconut oil that I use on Aria sometimes. Not so much anymore, but I do still like to use that on her at times. And I do use it on me too. We have some of this diaper cream. We have way more diaper cream. I just keep it downstairs in Aria's room. And then we have some of this fuzzy duck stuff. We have Mr. Bubble foam soap, Johnson's creamy baby oil, and then a bunch of suave two-in-ones. 
This is our oral care shelf, and I know it looks like a lot. I have it all organized by expiration dates so that if something is about to expire, we can give it to a family member or something, and they can use it up so nothing goes to waste. So, yeah, we have a bunch of mouthwash. I really like this Colgate stuff. It doesn't burn my mouth like other mouthwashes, so I like that. And then we have toothpaste. We're not really brand loyal to a toothpaste, so we just use all of these. I can say the only toothpaste that we have not liked is the Aquafresh, so I will give that stuff away, but everything else we will use. Okay, guys, that is it for my stockpile, so make sure you go check out everybody else in this collab, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.